Hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna share a haul with you all. This is not anything that I went out and bought all at one time, but I bought it within the last maybe six weeks or so. So let's get into it. There's quite a bit of stuff here. Okay, the first few things I'm gonna start with are self tanners. I am a pale, pale, pale woman. Pale. Like, I may actually glow in the dark, I'm so pale. You know, so it's summer, like, right? I'd like to have a little glow without adding wrinkles to myself. So I thought I would try two different products I've heard, you know, quite a bit about. One is the Loving Tan Two Hour Express in the color dark. Um, I've used this once, twice, twice. It's all right. I mean, I, I don't dislike it. The only thing I'm a little bit on the fence about is, look, I have like old lady spots and it makes those darker. So I'm all like, oh, I'm not in love with that part of it. It does make you dark, but if you have spots like I do, it makes those spots dark. So, mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that part. The other one is the Josie Marin or Moran, however you want to say it, Argon Liquid Gold Self Tanning Oil. So I think the trick here from what I've like seen, read, and watched is you gotta really shake it, like really shake it. It comes with a mitt which I like the mid a lot. I like the application of this. It's an oil, I think it smells nice. Um, it doesn't give you an immediate dark color. It gives you a nice glow, but I think it's gonna take a couple applications to get it like, to maybe look like you've been on a vacation. But even when I come back on a vacation, I still look pale, because I'm pale, I'm pale. So I need all the self tanner help I can get. Um, the one thing about this one, the Loving Tan Two Hour Express, you put it on, you wait two hours, you wash it off, you're good to go. That part's very nice, very nice. This one you put on, you know, like you let for, like, wait for it to dry, which it dries relatively quick, like I think within 60 seconds. And then you can go to bed, take, take a shower in the morning or put it in the morning, wash it off in the evening. It's one of those that has to stay for about eight hours, I believe, so it's all right. And I got it in the scent Juicy Mango. I don't dislike either one of those. I'm just, I'm a little, I'm still trying to find one that doesn't enhance any spots that I have. I haven't found that yet. So if you know of one, please comment below. Okay. Um, I've said it a million times. I'm a fan of cleansing balms. So when I started hearing things about this and seeing it in Target, I thought I have to try it. It's the Pixie Double Cleanse. Had to try it. So I picked that up. Haven't used it yet, but I will soon. Kind of excited about that. Um, the other thing, oops, I'm trying to get this stuff in order. There's really no rhyme or reason. Um, I bought a new Nest hand soap. This is in the scent grapefruit because I like it in the kitchen. It's a nice clean scent for, you know, like when you're just washing your hands and preparing meals or whatever in the kitchen. In the bathroom, I tend to lean towards Blue Garden or Bamboo, but in the kitchen I do prefer um, the grapefruit which you'll see one of these here I'll just show you right now really fast I like this so much look here's an empty one I was about to throw it in my empties to do a video um, and I just re bought repurchased I think I'll always repurchase I like it I'll um I'll post all this stuff below for you anyway let's move on uh, let's see another thing I bought when I for me to fix my hair especially just like this one I mean, I know it's nothing fabulous. I have fine hair. I have a lot of hair, but it's fine. I wash it, I shampoo it, condition it, spray some, um, it's a tin in it. And then I blow dry it a tiny bit, and then I section it off and round brush it. Well, to section it off, I love these clips. And I have some others that I picked up at like Sally's Beauty that are very comparable, but they were starting to lose their um, springing action. So I thought, well, I have a blah, blah, blah. I have a dry bar blow dryer and curling iron. So I thought, why not try the dry bar hold me hair clips? So here's what they look like. There are four in here. I think these are $16. They have a nice tight grip. And real quick, I want to know, I, sound, I know I sound stuffy, but it's like allergy time. I mean, look, y'all, they hold, like they hold. I did purchase these. Happy, so happy about that. Okay, let's move right along. I did also get 
I mean, there's quite a bunch of stuff down here. Um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. Let's open this up really quick. I probably should have taken this out before. And I got it in the, um, which one did I get it in? It comes in two different, um, I got it in light medium. I'm pale. So on one side you have four, ooh, I think I just stuck my finger in it and it's brand new. Arr. Oh well, not the end of the world. There's four powders, which I'm gonna try this weekend, I believe. Four powders on one side, a nice little mirror, and then on the other side there's five creamy contour and highlight options. Color corrector, I think you can use that one definitely for color corrector. And then another mirror. I like that it's nice and sleek. I haven't tried it yet though. So we will see. So yeah, it has color correctors, creamy color correctors, plus it has creamy concealers, cream, a creamy contour, and then powder contour and um, highlights. Um, another product I picked up was the Ola Hendrickson Invigorating Night Transfer Wait, no, let me start over. The Ola Hendrickson <laughs> Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. This. I heard that, so y'all know, if you've been around a little while, y'all know that I like the Ola Hendricks Truth Serum, the vitamin C serum in the orange. Love, love, love. Like, can't be without. Morning and night, can't be without. Well, I heard that this was similar to the Good Jeans um, product. So I thought, well, let me try it. It's, a, it's less expensive. I think it's about half the price. So... Let me try it. I've used it a few times so far, so good. We'll see, I'll report back later. Um, again, sorry for the stuffiness, allergies are kicking in. I was just at a horse show and being around all those animals in the hay, whew, kicks my, kicks my allergy into high gear. Mm -hmm. Okay, another thing I got is the confidence in your globe. The It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow. I just thought it was really pretty. I got it in natural, an in instant natural glow. I mean, look. Look. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I kind of, like, this one you can use for contour or bronzer, but these two right here, I kind of swirl them together and blush it up. I like that. I wish now I would have got the brush. So I do see that, um, I do see that brush coming to live at my house. They have a brush that they released with this, and I didn't pick it up, and now I really wish I would have. But that may be coming to live with us soon, too. Okay, I got three new mascaras. And, well, one's new, but not new to me. One's totally, and two others are totally too new to me. Too new to me? <laughs> One of them is the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. I bought this strictly because it has a very interesting... A very interesting wand that kind of just had me like hmm interest curious you know I was like hmm I'm, I'm curious because y'all know I love the CoverGirl super sizer and that has a very odd wand to it you know the stuff works great so that's what got me with this so if you can see let's get you up there let's see can you see it's literally like flat on one side and then you and it's you know then it's not flat <laughs> and it has this like round end to it kind of it's a rubber a rubbery wand and I would say it's kind of a wet mascara as well I've used it twice I'm kind of like eh don't hate it don't love it not sure where I fall on it yet I need to use it a few more times but again the wand intrigued me so that's why I bought it why not now I've been tagged to do the video like I bought it for the packaging so you might see two, these next two again because I legit bought these for the packaging. I couldn't help it. So here's the package. I haven't, I haven't used it yet at all. And it's the Milk Mascara. It, the Milk Milk Makeup, the brand Milk Makeup. It's their mascara. See, so it's like in this cute little tube. I know. And you can push on it and it's gooshy. See? And it's... It's got a very interesting wand also. Couldn't help myself. I have not used it yet. I may try in the next few days, but y'all know my favorite It Cosmetics superhero. I just I just started in on a tube of that, so I'm kind of trying to wait, use that up, and then try some of these others. 
Okay, and the other one that I bought, I've used this one before, I do like this mascara. And I bought this one, the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. Kristen Gaines sent me one of these, um, the Tarte Light Camera Lashes a while back, and I do like it, I do. But I bought this one, wait for it, look. That's, it normally comes like in a purple, just a, a same can, like packaging, but it's normally just purple. And they made this um, pretty, what do they call this? I don't know what, anyway, it's like a little limited edition, kind of a halogen, halogen? <laughs> I don't think that's right at all. I'm pretty sure it's not right. <laughs> Holographic looking um, packaging, you know, it, it has different shifts to it when you change it. I bought it because I like the mascara, but I love the packaging. And I know I like that mascara, so I felt like I was, that was a safe bet for me. You know, why not? Um, I, this is a YSL product. I've used it a few times. So far, I do like it. It's the color three, which um, it's kind of a, it's a, a tint and balm. It's, in my opinion, it's pretty much just a glorified chapstick. Even though I have the in number three, there's really no color that comes off, but I have dry lips and so I always need something. So if you can see, can you see it has like little lips in there? But look, nothing, there's really, it's such a faint, faint, faint color that, you know, it's just, and you're good to go. You don't have to think about it. it smells very nice too, like fruity. So I am, um, beautiful packaging, because when's YSL not pretty? I mean, it's gorgeous. Got that. I need extra, well, I was gonna say I need extra, like hydration on my lips in the summer but let's be real I'm so dry that I need it for sure in the summer and the winter I'm just I'm like crackly dry I know y'all wanted to know all that didn't you I also picked up on a Kristen game recommendation the Anastasia Anastasia that's not right either mm -mm. it's not right Anastasia I don't know that lady who does eyebrows <laughs> I picked up one of her single eyeshadows on Kristen's recommendation in Pink Champagne. You see, it's just a real pretty, you know, it's just kind of a pretty neutral shade, which I do like. I just need to get a Z palette to put those in. And I purchased a bunch of ColourPop singles. I'm not going to go through all of those yet. I'm going to try to get a Z palette and put all of these in so they have a home to live in and I can share and use them more. Okay, I have a few more things and then we're done for this haul. Um, you will see one of these in my empties, but I did purchase a new Josie Marin. Marin? Josie Marin? Y'all know who I mean. Um, the Whipped Argan Body Oil Butter. Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. I've been through a couple of these. I have one of my empties right now. And this is in the scent... Um, vanilla apricot. I love that scent. That's my favorite by her, the vanilla apricot. Okay. This has been my ultimate favorite, like, body cream. I love the Chanel lotion. I love that one. But as far as, like, a thick body butter, this one's probably my favorite. And then the, um, the Brazilian bum bum cream is coming in a tight second place. So... There you go. Can't go wrong on this. And on QVC, they have like the packs where you can get the smaller ones because I've been through several of those because those are nice for travel too. So. I still have some little ones I want to use up before I dig into that one. Um, this particular palette was sent to me by Too Faced. It's the Natural Love Palette, and I'm so happy they sent it to me because it's really pretty. I love Too Faced products. I'm a person who... Um, kind of almost collects the Too Faced products. Like I want all the palettes. I just, I mean, I just do. I collect those. I just, I mean, I do. <laughs> I do. And this one I love because I know that a lot of these shades are in other palettes. I know that. But I love that a lot of my favorite shades by them are all right here. And then some of these pinks and lighter colors. Ooh, I like those. I don't, these are the type of colors that just speak to me. These and... Um, I also like palettes that have a deeper reddish kind of orangey red shadows in them too. But this is just a good, good 
everyday palette. I mean, you can do an everyday look with this. You can do a like, look at me, I'm in the circus kind of look. Y'all know, that's my favorite. And I mean, just anything, you can do anything. I love this palette, it's very pretty. That was sent to me again. Okay, some lip products that I purchased from ColourPop. I got a few ultra matte lips and ultra, these are two ultra matte lips. Then I got one ultra satin lip. This is Viper Naughty, which is K-N-O-T-T-Y. And then Love Muffin, here, let's show you. Love Muffin, see it? It's just kind of a pretty neutral, neutrally kind of simple pink. Then this one's in Naughty. This one's a little more, um, a lot more neutral. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to um, get that off my iPhone. I might want to that one. Naughty, obviously. I should put buddies on right now. And then Viper. And I got one more, but I think it's in my purse, which I know the name to it. So there's a Viper, the more mauvey shade. And then I also got the color Aquarius. Aquarius, the Kathleen Light one. Yeah, I got it in the color, in the, like this. And I also got it in the liner and in the lippy stick. I got all of those. I think Kathleen Lights is adorable and I liked all her color pop um, collabs. They're, they've all been very usable and kind of like user friendly. So pick those all up. Um, a couple more lip products and then we're done. Try to make sure I didn't forget anything that I have sitting around. Oh, there's a couple more things. This is a Tarte the Lip Architect. It has a lipstick and a lip liner. So on one end there's a lip liner. You see, there's the liner. And then on the other end, which I love products like this because you can just grab it and, you know, whoo, 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 done. And on the other side is the lipstick. So that's the lipstick right there. You can kind of see what shades I gravitate towards. And this one, particular little skinny pencil y thing, liner, lipstick, is in the color Romantic. Nice, just kind of no-brainer color. You can throw it on and go. You don't have to worry about, you know, how it looks. Looks great. That's fun. Um, a Bare Minerals Matte. I don't know. Is this just a matte lipstick or a matte lip gloss? Here. Just a very matte, like, liquid lip kind of thing. It's down here in the color Wink. Can you see the kind of shades I tend to lean towards? So in here, I know it looks odd, but this Wink is a more pinky... It's a more, hmm, a peachy pink kind of nude in the color Wink by Bare Minerals. And then the last one, I don't know, let's just shut it on. I have to say, I like how this feels. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, this is the Revlon ultra hd matte lip color and it's in the color seduction kind of just put it on and it is let's do it right here it's right here see right here there you go it's on my lips it's not that dark um i had a, i was shopping with a friend monica and she pulled out of her purse and put it on i was like hold up girl what's that color She's like, oh, it's a, you know, when I got it at Target and blah, blah, blah. So, Revlon and the color Seduction. I did not bring any wipes over here, did I? Oh, no, I did bring some wipes. But my camera's propped up on them right now, so I will not be grabbing those. Okay, a couple other things that I hauled. Let me see. Ooh, really fast. Also, a new nest candle you can see i've been burning it already the other day when i was working on designs i kind of when i'm working on designs i like burning it it's just this is the scent bamboo by nest again i'll link everything down below but this um i don't know it's just a beautiful scent it just it is and i love burning it and i had my windows open that day and i was working and i don't know i feel productive when i do that i just do i do um a bag I picked up. Oh, these earrings. Look, I just got these earrings off of um, Etsy. And I'll link her shop too. I got this pair, um, another pair that has the little blue and white. 
and then it has um, a bamboo hoop hanging from the bottom. And then I got another pair of hoops that have the little blue and white balls on them. I shared those on Instagram live one day. Um, I will share her shop though. These were like $34, they're super light, and I really like them. She had all kinds of colors. Ooh. I need, I need to do, I need to like do a steamer treatment so I can breathe a little bit better. Hold on, I'm gonna take these things out of my purse so that um, I can show you all this bag that I picked up recently. Today, actually. But it's a haul video, right? So, okay, can you see? There's, whoops, Here's, it has a strap. Oops, sorry, it has a strap. You can adjust the length. I have a little, it's a little bit twisted for me. And then it has also a handle strap. Ooh, I don't wanna get that lipstick on there. So it also have a, has a handle strap. It's got this beautiful chain detailing. This is navy here. The bag itself is black. This is all embroidered on here. I love the way the buckle looks. And then it extends around to the back. Sorry, I moved those. Um, again, with this um, blue and red kind of webbing with the gold chain detailing. It's got gold there. I just think that those embroidery, all that embroidery on there are so pretty. And then you just, you swip it, you swip it, you <laughs> turn it that way and it pops open. And if you wanted to take this off, you could, or you could just tuck it inside. Again, there's a buckle on there and it would slide right through here, but I like both options. And then it has, and inside there's a zipper and then there's two pockets on this side, one that would like fit your phone and then a larger one. So that's kind of nice. I'll link below where I got it. I think it was, um, I think it was $138, $140. I don't know, it's pretty though, right? It's very Gucci-esque, you know? I don't know, I liked it. So they had it in the light blue. Oh, I kind of kept going back and forth. Do I get the black? Do I get the light blue? Do I get the black? Do I get the light blue? I got the black. I don't have very many um, black handbags. So that's how that decision was made. Um, something else that I got that was actually sent to me. This thing that I'm gonna show you was sent to me. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I have it all piled up right here. Um, is this by the O Venture. You know, they have the big O key ring that you can just like put your, key, you know, put your hand in here and put your keys on here if you want. You can buy this separately. Like this is bought separately if you wish. See, just to put your keys on. So if you're like, you know, hands are full of groceries or whatever, you can just slip your thing on, you have your keys to go, you're good to go. Or if you want, you can add the big O essential, like little pouch to go on it with it. Or this is a combo, this is a big O essential combo. Look at those big old arms, did you see that? Whew. Anyway, here you go. This fits your iPhone, like I have an iPhone 6, um, 6S Plus, it fits my phone, no problem. Oops, let me open that some more. It's all leather. Look, it has like a divider there so you can put your phone, you can put like money or, you know, cards, ID, whatever you want. My lip gloss will fit in there, stuff like that. My EpiPen even fits in there. So, the big O essential. Oh, and there's also a pocket on the back, guys, look. Oh, there's a card in there. So, I really enjoyed this. I used this in the movies, so I didn't have to take my big, like, I didn't take my big person, I just took this. It was really nice. I just hooked it on my hand and watched the movie. I never even thought twice about it. So I think this is going to be great for summer travel. Well, with all the travel I do in general, pool, whatever. I can just throw a few things in here and go. Love that. Love, love, love that. Oh, something. Oh, two other things. That's why I can remember. A few other things that I hauled. One I got for a gift, but it's kind of a haul too. So here's the two bracelets that I have on. They're both the same. They're hinged, heavy duty, feel great. They're not like, when I say heavy duty, I mean they're well made. They're not heavy. They feel nice and substantial and they're well made, but they're not like, oh, I got a five pound weight on. They're not like that at all. They look, they look pretty. I like wearing two together. One's pretty by itself, but 
those are some that you've seen me wear quite a bit on Instagram Live and Snapchat. I also got this one right here, which is really pretty too. And again, I'll link all the stuff down below, like that one. And then something I've had a million questions on, I'm just gonna take it off. I can, I can. Is um, for Mother's Day, I got a, um, the watch, you know what I mean? The Apple watch, the iPhone watch, the second generation, it's waterproof and stuff. So I got that for, I got that for Mother's Day. And I also got for Mother's Day the the band. You see the band? I'm trying to not show you my the watch part the right thing. Anyway. Jeez Louise. Um so here's the band I got. And I'll link all that information down below too. Um it is, can you see? The maker of the band says that he uses like old handbags and such and repurposes them into the straps for the for the watch so he's not claiming to be Louis Vuitton or anything like that he just takes bags and I guess he breaks them down cuts them up whatever he does to them and repurposes them into um, watch straps so he says that's what it says on his Etsy store I will share that with you all down below uh, oh and it was like a hundred and I think it was only like 120, 115 or something like that. It is leather, it's nice. That's all I can tell you about that. Um, I like the idea that he repurposes it. I mean, that's pretty nice, right? Like, it just looks good on. <laughs> it looks really nice with all these swatches. But it looks nice on. It's kind of fun, I mean. And he's recycling, so. <laughs> that's got a nice do, right? Anyway, y'all, I think I'm looking around to make sure I didn't forget anything because I forgot something in my um, favorites video from before. You know, it happens. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's enough, right? That's a huge haul. So thanks for watching. I'll list everything below and y'all have a great day. I don't even know what day I'm going to post this, but y'all have a great day. Catch me on Instagram or Snapchat or say hello. Let me know you watched my video. Bye.